Hello, my name is Danny Edwards, and I'm a candidate for president-elect of the Washington State School Directors Association. To give you a little bit of background about myself, I've served on the Riverview School District Board of Directors since 2007, and I've served as their legislative representative for the entire time. After graduating from Leadership WASDA in 2010, I successfully ran for a position on the WASDA Legislative Committee. After my first year, I ran for vice chair, and then in 2012 and 2013, I was chair of the Legislative Committee. Just this past year, I was elected vice president of WASDA, a role that has been helpful in preparing me for this next challenge, serving as president-elect, if elected by you, my colleagues. Aside from school board service, I'm active in the Duval Chamber of Commerce, having served two terms as president, and in the Duval Rotary Club, also having served two terms as president. Finally, for the last three years, I've served as an assistant governor for Rotary District 5030, the greater Seattle King County metro area, consisting of over 50 Rotary Clubs. There are 295 school districts in the state of Washington and 1,477 elected school board directors representing them. WASDA membership gets all of them, large and small, a seat at the table. Through legislative advocacy and access to valuable training, WASDA provides its members with the tools and resources to lead more effectively. Additionally, WASDA members have access to policy and legal services, which can serve as a framework for individual district policy guidance. In my opinion, WASDA membership is an invaluable benefit, and I strongly encourage all of our membership to take advantage of all that WASDA has to offer. A particular platform that I continue to advocate on, both at a state and national level, is the massive underfunding of special education. On a national level, back in 1975, the federal government promised to fund IDEA, the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, at a 40% funding level. They have literally never funded at 40%, and in recent years, the funding is in the low teens. Prior to the pandemic, full funding of IDEA was on the platform for several presidential candidates. On a state level, while we are making slow progress, I have deep concerns. You see, the state deems special education basic education, and as such, we cannot use levy dollars to supplement the shortfall without potentially having an audit finding in our districts. We have a legal and moral obligation to educate all children in the state of Washington, including those that uh, may be a little bit more challenging and difficult. Um, I've spoken with districts in the state that are spending millions of dollars out of their levy dollars because they have to educate these children. It's our constitutional obligation, and it's something that I'm going to continue to advocate for going forward. Thank you.